The GTA 6 trailer is out and today we're going to break everything down and tell you everything you missed. If you're new to the channel, hi, I make GTA 5, GTA 6 and GTA Online videos. Good to have you on board. So here we see the very first scene of the trailer. You may not think we can take much from this, but we actually can take a few things. First is we can see the prison over here. I'll talk about the prison a bit more in the next shot, but this is roughly what it's going to look like. And it actually looks pretty big, even bigger than the prison in GTA 5. Next, off in the distance, we can see our very first shot at the Vice City skyline. Now, we'll talk about this when we get a much clearer shot, but just already you can see it is a lot bigger than Los Santos was in GTA 5. There's at least twice as many buildings here. Now, having a look at the cars, it's hard to make out a lot of these cars, but we can see one returning vehicle from GTA 5 here. This is the Gauntlet Hellfire. We can also see features returning from GTA 5, like this pickup truck here is towing a boat. So, towing boats is coming back. This truck here is carrying stuff on the back of it. It kind of looks like a Wastelander from GTA 5, but I believe this will be a new truck. And then we can see a brand called Patriot Beer on the back of this truck here. In GTA 5, we had a brand called Pisswasser, and in GTA 6, it also looks like we'll have some Patriot Beer trucks going around. We then get our first look at Lucia, and I know what all you guys are thinking, but yes, yeah, she does look great. Now, for those of you unaware, we actually did get a leak earlier this year or it may have been last year even, that the very first scene in GTA 6 would be a prison break scene. A lot of people thought that was unrealistic, thinking why would Lucia be in prison? But yes, Lucia is in prison. So who knows, maybe the prologue of the game will be breaking out of prison. That would be pretty cool. On the ball next to one of the bunk beds here, we can see a family photo. Kind of hard to make out if this is Lucia's family, or maybe even her friends. It has been rumored that Lucia has a kid. If that were true, I would have expected to see a photo here, but it doesn't look like we could see it. In this scene, Lucia is in a conversation with a prison counselor. Her name is Stephanie, as we can see on her desk. She asks Lucia, do you know why you're here? We then get a very high res shot of Lucia again, who says, bad luck, I guess. Not much we can really take from this scene other than, yeah, the character models look really good. Now we're about to get our first look at Vice City itself, like a really clear look. But before that, we see a yacht so we know yachts will be coming back to the game and the water physics here look absolutely awesome. Not just the actual physics themselves, but the water actually looks great. It's mostly transparent, unlike in GTA 5 where you can barely see below the water at all. This game is gonna look incredible. And now we've got our first very clear look at the skyline of Vice City. Man, this city is huge. Now, for a lot of people who have been saying this doesn't look much bigger than GTA 5's Los Santos, this is a photo of Los Santos' central building district, and now you can see Vice City. It's not even close. Vice City is absolutely huge, and it looks gorgeous. There's a few more things we can actually take from this screenshot here. One is we have two returning vehicles. The first is the Maverick over here from GTA 5. And we've also got a Dodo plane towing a sign up here. And they're towing a sign that says 919. Why 69 when you can 919? Now, if you don't know what that means, you're probably not old enough. But if you can imagine what a 919 would look like. Yeah, Rockstar's humor is definitely coming back in this game. There's not too much we can take from the next scene other than there's going to be palm trees in the middle of the road. Hopefully this means we'll get more foliage and trees around the city areas of the map. And then we get our very first look at part of the map that's going to be called the Everglades. If you're unaware, in Florida, the Everglades, it's a massive swampy area and that's of course going to be in GTA 6. We also get our first look at a fan boat, which will be used to drive around the Everglades. We knew this was coming from the September 2022 leaks in the leaked gameplay, but it's awesome to find get an official look at it here. This next shot of the Everglades shows flamingos will be in the game. That's awesome. And there are a lot of flamingos here. I wonder if there's really going to be this many in the final game. But we also get our first shot of alligators in the game. So alligators will be in GTA 6 and you'll find a lot of them lurking around the Everglades in the swampy areas. Now we get a look of the beach in Vice City and we can take a lot away from this one screenshot here. 
First, obviously the character models look a lot better than in GTA 5 and Red Dead 2. Next, this dude is absolutely jacked, but maybe what's more interesting is he's running with a chihuahua. So it looks like pedestrians can be out running and walking their pets. We should also note that this beach looks a lot more packed than any beach in GTA 5. If GTA 6 is capable of handling this many pedestrians in one location at once, that will be really impressive. We can also see two new returning vehicles from GTA Online. First here is the Buckingham Super Valito, and then over here on the right is the Sea Sparrow. The Sea Sparrow is a pretty cool vehicle. It can actually land on the water, so nice to see that coming back. Then if we have a look in the water, jet skis will be returning. These are called Sea Sharks in the GTA universe. And we can also see behind this pickup truck over here that it's got an empty trailer, meaning that it's just lowered the boat into the water. So hopefully we'll be able to drive boats around and then lower them into the water and drive the boat. That would be pretty awesome. Now we have our first look at the Vice City docks area. GTA 5 did have a cargo ship, but it was a Merryweather cargo ship. But I would still assume we're going to have a bunch of missions on this ship in GTA 6 and GTA 6 Online. We also see two characters driving this boat. Hard to make out who they are. I don't believe it's either Jason or Lucia. Here we get our first look at nightlife in Vice City, Lucia and Jason driving around in a convertible. But this is interesting because we actually get some confirmed locations here. So we can see Kelly County will be a location as well as Vice City International Airport, as well as Stockyard and Downtown. I'm not sure if this is Stockyard Downtown or if this is two separate locations. I'm going to assume Stockyard Downtown is one location. Here we can see Lucia is actually being filmed by the car in front of them. Not sure if this is meant to imply that this guy is just being a freak or if they're actually filming something, but I will say this building behind them looks awesome. Here we can see a car meet going on. What we can take from this is the vehicle customization looks like it's going to be taking a massive step up. This car here is obviously a low rider, very, very low to the ground, but the car in front of it has actually been lifted. If you're a car guy, you love cars, looks like you'll be able to do a lot. This is our first official look at the Jack of Hearts nightclub, or well, shoe store, strip club, whatever you want to call it. In GTA 5, we had the vanilla unicorn. In this, we have Jack of Hearts. And man, it looks a lot more wild in here than it was in the vanilla unicorn. That's all I'll say. This is where boys will become men. Two characters here adapting each other up. The fact that they're getting, you know, a really close up shot makes me believe that they will be actually important to the story. And oh man, and this shot here, this looks incredible. We get a night shot of part of the Vice City skyline. Two pretty interesting things here. One is we've got yachts making an appearance again, a lot of them actually. So you'll probably be able to buy yachts. And number two is tennis will be returning. We can see a tennis court here. So side activities like those sports will be coming back. We have our first look of the Vice City strip and we can actually see a bunch of cars here, most of which are returning from GTA 5. So the first one, the blue one here is a Fister Comet S2. This is of course a Porsche. In front of it is a Grotti Cheetah Classic based on a classic Ferrari. And in front of that is a Grotti Carbonazar. If you've played GTA 5, 100% you've definitely seen this car before. To the left of them is a variant of the Gauntlet Hellfire. And then a few cars in front of them is a Coquette D10, which is based off the Corvette C8. Lamborghini, of course, looking very nice. We can see a drunk or homeless person as well. Well, so it looks like they'll be on the street asking for money, that sort of stuff. The next scene shows us a nightclub. Now, this is not the strip club. This looks completely different. This is a nightclub. There's not too much we can take from it other than, yeah, nightclubs will be in GTA 6. So that's awesome. Here's our first look at the Vice Keys. We're not sure exactly what they're going to be called. People think they might be called the Gator Keys. But these are based off the Florida Keys in Florida, of course. In terms of vehicles, we've got the Dodo here again. We've also got more yachts, but what's interesting is we've got a moving cargo ship. In GTA 5, all the cargo ships were stationary. This one's moving, so I wonder if we'll be able to hijack it and drive it. This will 100% be the most screenshotted frame of the entire trailer. This is Lucia, of course, one of the playable characters in the game. Not much we can really take from this screenshot. We're just getting more shots of Vice City in the background. It looks great, of course. We get our first shot of the Vice sign. Of course, in GTA 5, we had the Vinewood sign. Now we'll be getting the Vice sign. Pretty cool. Next, we have Rockstar's take on TikTok or Instagram Reels, whatever you want to say. 
we see a bunch of short form content. So this one here from Dad Bod Squad, a rich yacht owner hosting a party on his yacht. We have official poach here down on the bottom left. You can see, I think this is going to be Rockstar's version of Peter. But yeah, alligators in pools. That's awesome. We can see someone twerking on a car. Someone called the Department of Transport on this dump truck. Yeah, nice. Nice, Rockstar. An awesome shot here of the underground street racing scene at night. If you haven't played GTA Online in a while, this reminds me of the Tuners DLC. So if they can bring the level of customization we got in the Tuners DLC with all of the cool new races they added in that DLC as well, then yeah, GTA 6 Underground Racing will be awesome. I love this little scene here. Can you imagine if you're robbing a store in GTA 6 and an alligator bursts through the door and you have to try and take it out? That would be hilarious. In this shot here though, we can also see Go Postal is confirmed as coming back in GTA 6. Go Postal was one of the delivery services in GTA 5. We see a police break-in. I'm not really sure if there's too much we can take from this screenshot though. I'm not sure that this confirms that first person will be a feature in the game. This just looks like trailer footage. Some more short form content here from Planet Leonida Man. If you're unaware, Leonida is Florida. Basically, that's just the GTA version of Florida, just like we had San Andreas as California, Leonida is Florida. This next little video here though, we can actually take a few things from it. First is we've got a few new confirmed locations. If you read the billboards back here, the Vice Beaches, Port Vice City, and the Keys, as well as again, Vice City International Airport and Kelly County. Some more of just Rockstar making fun of people right here. This guy's out in his underwear watering his grass. This shot is awesome so we've got the thrill billy mud club and it looks like off-roading is gonna be a lot bigger of a feature in this game you can see all of the cars are lifted here of course they've got lift kits but yeah really this just leans towards the fact that we will be getting a lot more customization and you can even see a car way off in the distance here doing a stunt jump we can see some police cars here these are kelly county sheriff police cars and i love the billboard this is just rockstar making fun of modern day society on the billboard here it says angst pain it cures emotions which i think is meant to be a joke joke about antidepressants and how so many people are on them. We then see that the person driving the car we're in is Jason and we have our first look at Jason, one of the other playable characters in the game. So the two playable characters will be Jason and Lucia and as we see in a little bit here they are in a relationship. Another shot of Lucia with a balaclava, money in her hand, obviously looks like we've just robbed a place and we're using the card that we're in to go undetected by the cops. We see a criminal here that looks like he's gonna be part of one of the gangs, so we can assume some gang members will look like this. And here we have a shot of a dirt bike gang, which is just incredible, right? Like now already in this trailer, we've seen a dirt bike gang, a mud club gang, a street racing gang. We've seen a bunch of supercars, car customization and car racing. Looks like it's going to be taking a massive step up. It's genuinely incredible just from what we can tell here. We can also see that Weasel News is coming back. And in the final few shots here, we see Jason and Lucia robbing another store. In the back here, we get confirmation of a few brands coming back. Both Pisswasser and E. Cola can be seen in this screenshot. The next shot shows Jason and Lucia in bed, of course, confirming that they are in a relationship. We've known this for over a year now, but good to see it finally officially confirmed. Another cool shot of these two robbing a store yet again and then we get the official gta 6 logo the release date is 2025 now we know rockstar does plan currently to release this game in fiscal year 2024 if you don't know what that means essentially if it's coming in 2025 that would mean it's coming out before april i'm not sure if we can still say rockstar is going to hit that deadline but i think that's probably what they're planning it also has been confirmed that gta 6 will not be coming to pc PS4 or Xbox One. So only PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. I would assume it's gonna come to PC maybe in what, 2026, 2027? So yeah. Anyway, man, the logo, all I have to say is, yeah, this looks perfect. The color scheme is awesome. Congrats, Rockstar. Absolutely nailed it. And honestly, I just can't wait to see more. So I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. Hopefully that gave you a bit more info. As I said, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more stuff like this. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Poise. Find me on the mountaintop. Need no calculator.